one. Hey guys, <laughs> good morning everyone. We are in, how do you say the name of this town? Florissant, St. Florissant. Louis. Okay, yeah, outside of St. Louis, you guys all know this is the oh, Mr. <laughs> Obey Signs, Matt Bay. Uh, you guys know who he is. You know, you know the amazing things that he's doing. We did a Zoom with him. I think you were like... Second. No? Was it second Zoom? Yep. The first one was... Um, was the first one Frank? Or was he, was he... I can't remember. Anyway, so we've been doing Zooms for a while, and Matt was the second Zoom that we did, so that's been... I don't oh, know. God. Last year? Yeah, it's been at least a year, maybe a year so. and a half. So we're, we, Vicki and I are on our way to Indiana. We stopped by, met him and his gorgeous wife, <laughs> and, who is going to be on camera any second now, I'm sure. Not. And, uh, <laughs> and Jitterbug, of course. We met Jitterbug. <laughs> and uh, we want to just kind of uh, get an update on what's sure. going on. Uh, you weren't doing this kind of work back in, uh, no. back in no. that time. No, here, I'll show you. This is, uh, this is the stuff I've done before. <laughs> yeah, so we advanced right. a little bit. Go a long way. Yeah. So this is what you were doing when we first yep. did the Zoom. Cedar what, stuff, like what you, you stuff, showed yeah, us. The cedar fencing stuff. Yep. Yeah. So uh, you you are probably uh, the poster boy for finding your niche. I you know, I've been talking about that for a long time, and I think you are like a perfect example of somebody. So tell everybody what's going on with these things. Well, so, uh, coming from the regular signs, uh, I start, was doing those for a little while, sold some of those. Remember I told you I, about, I would set them outside? Yeah. And people would stop and, and uh, buy them or order stuff. And then a friend of ours asked me if I could do a bourbon Mark Twain quote. Gotcha. And I said, well, what about doing it on a whiskey barrel? Wouldn't that be neat? And she's like, can you do it? I'm like, oh, we can try it. Yeah. So I got a barrel and tore it down and glued it together. It, it was very rough of what things are today, yeah, right. but learned how to do them on a barrel. And after I started doing that and everybody started seeing them on my barrels, then it was, that's all I do. Yeah. Well, it's not all I do, but it, the majority of my work right now is bourbon barrels. I, for I, sure. It's so unique. It's Absolutely. such a niche that, is there anybody else that you know that is doing it? <laughs> I mean, other than... I know there's a couple of them on the Minions group that has... That's what I mean. Other, gone at other it. Than no. that, other than the people that kind of... You guys kind of congregate together. Outside of that, have you ever... I've, I've done an extensive research, yeah. and I have not found it. Now, yeah. that's not to say that you can't get a bourbon barrel sign made. Yeah. Now, it's going to be either vinyl or paint yeah. or mostly laser. Yeah. You know, laser right. stuff, but not hand carved. Yeah. And yeah, so I, you know, I was at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Yeah. And it was probably one of the coolest things. And it, Andy, I tell you, almost everybody that walked in was like, out of all the vendors here, your stuff is the coolest. Really? It is. The, there's more craftsmanship. I've never seen anything like it. I love it. Yeah. Did, did, the response did, was amazing. Did people accuse you of using the CNC or anything? Absolutely. <laughs> Quite. I'm kind of curious. C and C. Yeah, yeah. I'm I keep telling her, I'm going to get it on my hands. C I'm going to put a C on the top C of these hands. Yeah. 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 Then yeah. you got to put it in on your chest. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See what she did there. I saw what she did. <laughs> She's good at that. Um, anyway, so you, you take these apart and then you glue them back together. Uh, yep. how, how are you putting them? How are you attaching these staves back together once they're apart? Tie bond three. Tie bond three. Well, and then clamping them. Clamp. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, oh, really cool. ratchet straps. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I built my own. I built a jig for it because I was trying to do it. Yeah. I was trying to do it like this. <laughs> I bet you were. And that was not working. Yeah. I got one together to make that first sign. Yeah. I'm like, man, there's got to be a better way than this. And I thought, well, you know what? How are they? It, how are they perfect when they're as a barrel? Yeah. Well, the head of the barrel is going to keep that yeah. shape, right? Exactly. So the yeah. barrel, it runs like this. Yep. Yeah. Right. So, I made a jig, cut one of them in half, put it on some two by fours. Now I have the natural curvature yep. of what that barrel and those wants. Those pieces will just go right, but right Most up. Time. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. So, well, because like I was telling you earlier, the, the when when the barrels come out, like if I get one from the the, 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 the distillery, right? Yeah. That's called a fresh dump. 
So they're still soaking wet. The I'll let you smell that one over there. The when I tear that down, yeah, whoo, it's you bourbon in here, really man. Smell. It's bourbon. And how long do you let it set then before you actually use it? A week. I don't know. I, I've never really timed it. it. I just it, let it sit as long as it sits out, it'll dry out real it'll fast. Just, it'll it's dissipate it's in the yeah. air and. Got it. And yeah. then go from there. But yeah. some barrels are, like I said, some barrels are good and yeah. some barrels are terrible. Yeah. Sometimes they're, if they've been sitting out and it's not a fresh dump and they're real, real dry. Now, I don't want them real wet either. Yeah. But if they're real, real dry, they get it harder to yeah. work with. Right. Because you've got that, you know, they're naturally steam bent. Yep. Yeah. And they'll start, you know, creeping up. Yeah. Back. So. And and um, you, you don't have a problem with your base plate just following that contour then? Well, I can't use your base plate anymore. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Because it's not... It, why? Well, why? one, because it was... Uh, I had one I did, and the center... So, the center of it was deep, right? And they wanted the logo set inside that. So, say, it was, I went down a quarter of an inch, or a half an inch, or whatever. Yeah. If I went down, they wanted inside that <laughs> down. Oh. So, right. I had to make a base plate bigger... Yeah, it would stretch across the side side. It wouldn't fall. It right. Wouldn't fall so I got a plexiglass and I made one. And when I did, inherently it was a, it was a uh, a little bit thinner than what yours is. It's a quarter inch wheel. And it kind of helps me go to that curve. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. How big did you make it? Is it a square? Uh, big, like a. Here. Oh, I see. So it's rectangle. Gotcha. Okay. Well, and you can see. Yeah, you can see how it kind of it has a little bit of a oh, curvature too. It has a little bit of a that helps uh, follow that thing. Right. Very cool. But I don't, Good. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't really get all bent out of shape uh, if the depth is the same. Right. As long as it's carving, I'm good. Yeah, because once it's sprayed and sanded off, who cares whether it's an eighth of an inch or, yeah. Right. As right. long as it's not sh so shallow that you sand it out, right. that's all that really matters. And of course, yeah. like I said, I go deep. Yeah. I go, yeah. I told, one of my favorite things that uh, Ryan said on one of them, when it was you and your dad and Ryan, and he, what Ryan say? He said uh, <laughs> something about, if you think you've gone deep enough, you're not, go deeper. Yeah. That you know, well, your dad told, always told him that. I think that's what we told him. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's absolutely true. Yep. Yeah. Wow, those are so cool. So cool. So tell us, um, you did the bourbon festival. Yep. Other than that, your sales, are they coming just word of mouth? Or are you actually going out and pushing these things? Are you marketing them? Or have you got people that are do, is doing that for you? Or no, Well, you know, I do all my own marketing. Right. But, right. uh. The Bourbon Festival obviously was amazing. That's that was like your that, huge the event that kind of opened the gates. And that was going to be and that was okay. Well, I mean, you guys know I don't. I lost my job. Yeah. Didn't lose my job. I resigned from my job. Yeah. Uh, and it the Bourbon Festival was for me was going to be a gauge of is this going to work or is it not going to work? Yeah. Gotcha. And it certainly it went really really well. Yeah. I'm on a month and a half waiting list right now. So. Wow. Yeah. And I know you've done some restaurant signs. You've done yep. some other things too. Yep. That what was that big one with the was that the big one with the propeller? Did you do that? One? Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. one you sent me. I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Last Light Brewery. Yeah, yeah. That that came out so. That was a lot that, of fun. That one really came and, out cool. And that's a thing I really want to get into more too. Is I like the incorporation. Yeah. Like had, that had what LEDs. It had, I, I sandblasted the uh, owl into the logo yeah. into the glass yeah. and it kind of looked neon and it had a barrel head and then a six foot uh, propeller. propeller. Yeah. yeah, I like that integration stuff. Of stuff. Where you're bringing those kinds right. of, that's why I, I like that. The one I just showed you, the one with the uh, the copper inlay yeah. of the stage. Right. I, right. It just, that's cool to me. Yeah, if you can get other elements. Going exactly. Together, that's why. And you're different. You're different yeah. than everybody else yeah. at that point. And that's you know that's why I'm really getting into the power carving thing. Yeah. Because I want something that's different that that I can take my routing and then now I can add something to it. Maybe do some overlays or different. Exactly. I've got some ideas of different things I want to do. But yeah, yeah, something that really makes it different and unique. From what everybody else Absolutely. Is doing. Yeah. <laughs> so she can tell you. I always say I, I don't do ordinary. I do extraordinary. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to do. Is that it? Who'd you steal that from? I, I think it came up here. I'm not sure. I think it's a Disney quote. 
Oh, is it? <laughs> Walt Disney. Well, great. It's one of the Disney somebody. cartoons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. It sounded like a Disney quote. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't. Well, yeah, no. it was Jiminy Cricket way back when. Yeah. <laughs> Jiminy is the one. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, oh, man. Awesome stuff, dude. Awesome. So Thank things you. are good. Things are going good. Things are good. Yep. Yeah. Doing well. So uh, this bourbon festival is going to be an annual thing you think you're going oh, God, to? I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Actually, trying to get in another one up in Michigan. It's a different, and, it's another bourbon Another festival? bourbon thing up in really? Michigan in November. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Hopefully, we'll see. Yeah. There's another, I got uh, uh, one in Minnesota. My brother-in-law was there and he had, there was 200,000 people. Oh my God. And 500 artists. Yeesh. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna try to get in that one too. Yeah. Oh See my how gosh. that goes. So. Yeah. No, but it's good. Yeah, everything's really good, man. I'm doing awesome. good. Awesome. Yeah. So and you know, you know, well, we've been talking yeah. for uh, what? A couple years, two, two three, three years, years something now? like that. Yeah. So um, I'm so happy that we yeah. were able to come by. Man, I'm yeah. so happy you're here. All right, guys. And you guys know, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again that it's so awesome to have you in my garage. <laughs> and I never, I told you before, I won't say you saved my life, but you sure did change it. Well, and I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, you yeah, know, he changed I, mine 40 years ago, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm just, I, Who knew? I'm, so, um, I'm just so grateful that, I, that we had the technology that dad and I could kind of come up with this silly idea and then just throw it out there and see what happened. And, it, it it still blows me away. Yeah. It's still, you know, we're out in the middle of the desert. You're here, yeah. 1,600 miles away, and we had no idea that that we could affect people's lives and help people. And it just it still just blows me away. It's well, just, and I'll tell you another amazing. thing too is, uh, and I know I've told you before. You know, when we did that first Zoom, and and I talked about my PTSD yeah. and the anxiety and depression and yeah. It was very, it was a very emotional type interview yeah. with you guys, and, yeah. and that was really hard because that was that was very new and at we, that time. And and you know what? When you were when you did that, we had no idea. It wasn't like we we planned this thing out pre right. ahead of time. We had no idea what you were going to say. We right. just we wing it, just you know, like we always. Well, do. I tell you, I, I've had so many people, whether it be from your video or all the podcasts that I've been on. Yeah. Uh, I just had a, a firefighter reach out to me the other day and, and said thank you for sharing your story. I saw you on a podcast, yeah. and he's in a really bad place, and he, he was suicidal. And yeah. he's like, you gave me hope, and, and that it's going to be okay. And yeah. I'm like, man, how cool is that, right? I, you know, money is one thing, but when you can affect other people's lives, right. there's just no amount of money that, that no. makes up for that. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. No, I'm getting yeah. <laughs> I so much, man. I, I love you, bro. I love you. I'm so, so proud of you. So stinking you. happy for you and excited and uh, to see where you're going to take this thing. Because I know you. See, you, and I knew right off the bat that, that you, or you, your mind was always going of ways that you can market this thing. Oh, I still, so yeah. So you, you've got, not only that you've developed your talent, but you have the, the wheels turning all the time. How can I? <laughs> how can I market? How can I market? So you've got that. Both of those entities that have put together. So that's I'm excited really to see. You know, when we come back in a couple of years, kind of. You know, you're gonna probably. Well, that's all. You know, the, be living. You and Angel be living in a big old. Yeah, right. House. Right. <laughs> the the uh, barbed festivals really also made me. Uh, it propelled me to ship. I yeah. haven't done shipping. Oh, right. Right. And now. Yeah. I have to. You don't have to and so yeah. since I'm doing that now, now I'm, I didn't really want to do stock signs. Yeah, I don't want to do it. Yeah, but I've got some stock barrel signs that I'm going to sell, which is going to be it's going to have, it puts me in a place where I can have a stock sign, a, a custom sign, a this sign. I want to get into. I've got a uh, wine barrel sitting here. Yeah, I want to get into the wine barrel yeah. business. You know that well, that, that and, whole other side and, of it, the and, same and, thing. And here's the thing is when you're at those on location sites if you've got something that they can just literally buy and walk away with exactly that it's not a shippable that literally they buy and walk away with that that's is huge sell. that's huge that was a big part of 
what I developed up in Oatman. I come up with these funny things, mm -hmm. and and that added so much to my totals that it, you know I sold a lot of personalized signs. But then all of a sudden, when I was doing these stock signs that they you could just 15, 20, 30 bucks, grab and go, grab and go. It gave me something to do in my downtime because right. I'm just stocking them up, putting the routers running, stocking them up, putting them away. And all of a sudden, the next day, I'm selling two or three of those. It's, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks. It makes well, a and it's not difference. handing out a, it's not handing out a business card yep. and hopes. And they right. say, oh, it's really cool. And then, yep. oh, well, maybe they'll come back. Yep. Well, I got cash in hand. Yeah, right. And, you know. and these are such an impulse item. You know, if you have something that, that they see and they go, oh, man, that is cool. It's an impulse item. Boom, they'll walk away with it. And, and you're going to you're gonna have a future customer. Right. But now you've got cash in hand. And I think Vicky's up. All right, well, I want to tell you one more thing real quick, Vicki. Yes, dear. Eric's always said, and we talked about this earlier, when I was at the Bourbon Festival, he always said, keep that router running, people will come. And that is no lie. <laughs> at the Bourbon Festival, if I was routing, she was busy. Yeah. If I stopped routing, people were walking away. But as soon as that router fired up, so if you're out doing live stuff, yeah. get that fire, get, see if they'll let you carve there. Yeah. Right. And get that router running because so, it'll pull people in. So tell me, was this the first time that you've ever carved on site yeah. at an event? Tell me, because people, I know there's a lot of people that say, I could never do that. It's just too much pressure. I can't do it fast enough, whatever. So give me your impression of what it was like for the first time being out there carving actually on site. <laughs> Who's laughing? Oh, we're laughing at Jitterbug. Oh, okay. Uh, so for me, it was... You're laughing at me. Part of going to the Bourbon Festival, when I applied for the, I talked to the president of the Bourbon Festival, yeah. and I told him I would do a sign for them. Yeah. So I'm not, I wasn't carving to make signs to sell. Oh. I was carving a sign for the Bourbon Festival of their uh -huh. logo. Right? And so. You were working on that there. Yes. Gotcha. Right. Oh. So at the end of the festival, they had a finished sign. Yeah. That they took to the office. Yeah. So, but it still gave me the the people were just sitting there looking, and what it really did is drive home that this ain't CNC, right? And people are standing there going, They're "Are you really doing it. this with your hands?" Yeah, yeah, yeah really, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah. it showed people your work better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and your your craftsmanship. And your exactly. Can you, can you move that? I want to get. Can I oh. can I get a peek at these here? Yeah. Check these out. Yeah, I just carved that one yesterday and started this one today. The fly is just the added bonus. <laughs> so cool. Such great stuff. Man. Thank you. Great Very stuff. cool. All right. If I, I would have uh, had if I would have had more of these down there, I could have oh, sold yeah. all day. Yeah. But yeah. then there then I gotta be very careful. Because of Turkey. Because it's Copyright. Copyright. Yeah. That's oh, what I was yeah. Gonna say. Yeah. 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 And I've been asked that a lot. Is how do you get away with doing all these like, you know, the, the because yeah. the copyright with Jim Beam Jim and Bean, yeah. Old Elk and Wild Turkey, yeah. all these big brands. Well, because I'm doing it for them. Right. I was doing it for them. Who's right. gonna Who's gonna get on me about it? That's right. Good but point. I won't push it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, that is it. So, um, again, thank you guys so much. Thank you for, for lunch, lunch, oh lunch and just opening your house and, and dessert. Letting us play with Jitterbug. Um, <laughs> wait, a minute, we had wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Jitterbug. Hi, Jitterbug. Hi. <laughs> Jitterbug. Hi. <laughs> she loves me. Thank you for yeah, stopping by. Girl. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll might get up here. Come on. Get up here. Come on. No. Nope. Sometimes she will. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. No, and, and it turned out to be great weather, and we're making good time. There you go. There's a good picture. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Hi. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Told you I'd get you. Yep. All right, guys. That is it. We're going to, uh, we got to hit the road. We've got it. We've got about another three or four hours of driving to go before it gets dark. So, um. Thanks again, bro. Hey, thank you uh, for so stopping by. I'm, so I'm really fun. glad you did because I'm too busy to go to Denver now. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now I got to see you. <laughs> well, I, and you had told me if, 
if you get this yeah. close and don't stop by, I'm buying my bits from somewhere else. That's Rockler, yeah. Down, so. And then I also told you I couldn't afford that. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So our bits are good price. That's what you're saying. Absolutely. There you go. And the best bit. I actually sold somebody on your bits at the Barber Festival. Did yes, I did. <laughs> awesome. Love it. All right, guys. Uh, thanks so much. We love you. If you have any questions, let me know. Get a hold of Matt. If you have questions on this stuff, it's just amazing. Just no, find your own niche. Don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but do find a niche. Do Absolutely. Find They're out there. They're out there. You just, you know, you just got to keep looking. So anyway, we love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. -bye.